Okay, and welcome to Going Native. It is our traditional uh, ISO CPP meeting wrap-up thing. No, no, not so traditional. Billy O'Neill, introduce yes. yourself. Uh, hi, I've been on one of these before. I work on standard library stuff. Okay, uh, Gabriel Dustrace on the C++ team. And you guys just got back, well, sort of just got back yes. from Rappersville, Switzerland. Uh, and yes. we're the most recent- Switzerland. Yes. Uh, as you can tell by the hats, uh, yes, that Gabby has a different kind of hat, uh, and uh, and uh, so I would tell us a little bit about how the thing went. Gabby, do you want to kick it off? Oh yeah, so Rappers Field was very interesting in the sense that it is the meeting before the last where C plus plus twenty features are supposed to be you know set in stone. By which you mean the last one, the, the last one, the next one will be the last one that they take new features. Is that the right way to think about it? Exactly. So the next standards meeting uh, in San Diego in November will be the last one where okay. we're taking taking the new features that we haven't talked about before. The, the feature freeze. That, that's right. So and it's getting it's getting down so to the wire on C plus plus twenty. So yeah. So yes. if at this meeting and Rappers Field meeting, if you wanted some Thing to be there, it's big enough. Like let's say coroutines or modules, this is getting out. Oh, we really have to push uh, forward. And one thing we also did was to have a uh, an evening session and talking about the directions that we want to have for C plus plus twenty because. Really, we're in the middle of the release cycle. It's sort of like, like a special section to discuss, yeah. like sort of directional stuff. Okay, so yes. what was the outcome of that? So, so the outcome, the first thing is that uh, so the direction group is about five or six people who uh, have very strong reputation in the community and the committee, and you know have sense of design and that kind of stuff. You're supposed to tell us what we should be doing and it's focus. It's a relatively very new group, if I remember correctly. Yes, it, it was created about uh, a year ago. Or yeah, something. about a year ago, because at some point um, people were uh, worried that the attention, the WG21's attention was a little bit uh, unfocused, going okay. in all directions and doing little things. So at least now at this meeting, you know, they strongly encourages us to uh, to work on key stuff like concepts. Okay. Which we mostly got into the to the standard. We have you know small stuff like syntax, natural syntax. But basically like, yes. baked and, and ready to come. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Rangers, uh, modules, uh, network, and and coroutines. Those are the, the big. So when it's like big ideas, these are features that have the potential of changing how people write code. This is very important in, in well, to get people excited about the language. We have to. To address new challenges, you have to be able to change how people are writing the code, not just small stuff that right. we did uh, before. Uh, so that was very, very important to have that directional discussion. Yeah. Okay, and then so let's start with the ones that we are sort of the drivers for here in, in Microsoft land, or those of us sitting on green couches, oh, for instance. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's start with modules. What happened with yeah. modules? So. Uh, you know, as you remember, last time around, uh, we had uh, on the last episode, uh, yes, which ISO was CPG. for Jacksonville. We had a presentation by Google about uh, Richard Smith about what they call the Atom proposal, another take on module, and and we were directed by the Evolution Working Group to come with a merge of those ideas into the uh, uh, module TS. So going into Rappersville, uh, Richard Smith and I um, worked very hard on, on a document, a joint document, uh, that represented a very good compromise that we presented to the, uh, to the evolution working Yeah, like sort of a joint presentation. On yeah, we, we had a joint presentation, you know, like, you know, Richard's going through the slide, he will make comments, I will complete the comment, we will ask questions, we will both answer, you know, we, we really both. Uh, I have to say, when happy. I saw both your names on that paper, I was a little surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cats and dogs living together. Okay. Uh, no, Richard <laughs> is uh, a very, very good uh, guy to work with. So uh, it, was, it was a pleasure. Uh, and it was quite interesting to see uh, the, uh, the, the evolution working group. You know, Basically, unanimously applauded. Uh, the, the this is like almost like a special session for it. Is that it, what happened? Yeah. So it was a Tuesday. Uh, Villain, you know, the the chair of uh, evolution working group, uh, scheduled Tuesday for only modules, just like we had Wednesday for coroutines only. And so we had that. We'll get uh, there next. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. Uh, and, and so, um, and and the thing that happened going in there, we you know, Richard and I had uh, two ideas. One is to have this merge proposal into the uh, TS uh, working draft. And the second, take a subset of that merge proposal 
to put it into the C++20. And the thing that happened was that everybody was just saying, oh, merge proposal into the TS, fantastic, almost anonymous, right? Uh, but the subset uh, actually didn't get traction. And the reading of the, of the, of the room essentially was, uh, it is all or nothing. Okay. So for example, you know, the representative from Facebook say, well, if you take the subset, that's going to be another word, right? It, it's more like you want to have Kind of the existing. Yeah, you know, so, um, and, and, and since this was the, um, the, the, the la, you know, so they want to the second to last meeting to get big feature uh, complete, um, it, it put pressure on, on modules. Like, we're going to have a, a special meeting um, dedicated to modules only. Uh, the week before uh, CPPCon, which is in September, mm -hmm. uh, to make progress on that, so that in San Diego we can and show the community. So special session here in in lovely Washington State yeah. in right. September. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, uh, so that was on modules. Uh, so the state is unsure. Um, yeah, to get into C plus twenty, you know, but personally, the big the big win was the merge proposal. Yes, the merge proposal. You know, the and yeah, and, 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 and the community okay. seems to, to be loving it, and I think that okay. that's that's a real progress, right? Uh, so the next day we talk about coroutines, um, and you know, uh, Google had ideas. You know, if you remember again, last session on Jacksonville, they, they said they had some concerns, and that they were working on. Uh, solutions to address their concerns, they do present that proper skill, and they did, right? They, they, they proposed their ideas about how a slightly different coroutine system, what they call core coroutine, will work. And after that presentation, um, girls also got the opportunity to present uh, from some kind of rebuttal, and, uh, and the, um, the, the group, the evolution working group, look at it and say, uh, they, they are ready with the, uh, the, the coroutine TS, which has been there for more than three years right. now, right? And, and, and to move that forward to get into C20, the unfortunate thing that happened in plenary was that uh, the Just motion. The full session. Yeah, so the full session, the full committee in session on Saturday morning. Um, the, that motion to merge the coroutine TS into C++20 working draft didn't uh, get traction. And, and I would say it was, it was very just close. It fell short of what was yeah, considered consensus. That's right. It, right fell, it fell short of that. Uh, my hope is that Gore will be working with the national bodies uh, who had concerns. Mm -hmm. you know, there were four who voted against uh, to, to, to work with them and address their concerns. And, and I really hope that we'll make progress there and get C plus 20. And, and real, then effectively, there'll be another vote in San Diego. Yeah, yeah yes. I think we'll try again in, okay. in San Diego. It's, it's very important. So coroutines are one of the big features that the direction yes. group said we should be yes. working on. And the community has been waiting for it. And we know that it is deployed. Implementation is available in the Microsoft compiler, in the Clang uh, compiler. So people have been testing this. Right. And they, they have opportunity to test more. And I, I wish we have more in GCC. And, and my friends, uh, GCC, if you get some spare time, please <laughs> <laughs> work on this. This is really important for the community. Okay, so before we, uh, we we let Billy regale us with stories of libraries, let's finish up with contracts. Okay. Oh, so, so big stuff, big really. So we're talking about uh, big features that have the potential of changing how we write code, and contracts are an example of that. So contracts have been proposed for a long time. Yes. I think the, uh, you know for plus OX didn't get traction, and for Tin didn't get there. You know especially from Bloomberg with John Lakos, and after that, you know, I've worked intensely with uh, John Lakos and from Spain delegation, uh, Daniel uh, Garcia, who has been, has done a fantastic job. I was overwhelmed with module work, so he, 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 he shifted this work to core and, and wording, and so did a fantastic job. And contract got uh, voted into the C20 uh, working draft. So, uh, in, in, in short, what are contracts? So this is just a feature that allows you to write a summary of what a function expects of its argument and what it guarantees uh, in, as, as a result of running that, that function. And being able to write those you know, as part of the interface actually allows several things, which is you have a systematic way of ensuring that 
uh, what, when you call a function, the, the contract, the preconditions are met. If they are not met, then you know, by default, you get instant failure terminate. And this uh, is static and dynamic, or choose? So it, it has a few parameters. So you can parameterize by, oh, don't do any check. Mm, shouldn't be doing that. Uh, if it is part of the interface, you should be doing the check. So have dynamic check, and if you only want to have a static analysis uh, check, you also have that. It's the axiomatic form. You can say ensures axiom x greater than zero, for example. Got it. Right? And uh, this way, you need fewer non-standard extensions like uh, we do with the cell annotation. And macros. E e yeah, exactly and right. Yes. yes. So it has this parameterization. That now, what are called build modes. Like you want to have extensive checking. So we have assertions also can put in the, the uh, body in the definition of a function. Right. That's for example the preferred method by uh, Bloomberg. It's like just put all assertions instead of a static assertion. Yeah. Instead of having preconditions and postconditions expressed at the um, you know declaration interface level. Uh, you know, so having that actually helps so analysis and too. And it allow you to express your intent directly in the in code. In code as opposed to right. English and, and having mismatch between what the code is doing and what the comment is doing. Compilers don't write don't read comments. Right. Right. So this is so Gabby, you spent most of your week in the evolution working group and, right. and Billy yes. spent most of his in the libraries working group, right? Yes. So, so li what happened there? So in library we uh, so there is a library evolution group where they talk about big, fancy new features like this. Um, library is a little more boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we basically take these neat things that the evolution group gives us, and we make sure that the words that will go into the spec actually say what the des intended design is. Um, and so we have a big backlog of these neat features we want to merge into the spec. Um, in particular, we looked at uh, Parallelism 2. Mm -hmm. And the uh, most of the time the last week, or two weeks ago now, was. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> yes, was spent looking at a uh, sort of processor agnostic way of asking for SIMD intrinsics. So you can say, I have something that looks like a vector register, and I want to broadcast the same value into all of the, val into all of the cells. Um, things like that. So that's targeted for parallelism too. Um, we reviewed wording for the re reflection TS. So they added support to look at um, the, what a function is and what parameters it accepts, and uh, unpacking lambdas to get to their operator parentheses. Oh, cool. Um, stuff like that. And uh, we also added. Atomic ref to the C20, that didn't go through a TS. It went directly into C20, which is a way of um, if you can't change your data structure to use std atomic, but you also don't want to write horrible, nasty uh, compiler specific intrinsics, um, you can sort of wrap this thing around your int or whatever and do atomic operations on it that way instead of having to change the data structure. So and hopefully the, this will let people who have like publicly documented data structures like Windows use uh, more much standard. more standard code and also just prettier code because you don't have to like remember, oh, this is interlocked something something. Oh no wait, this is the 16 bit version. <laughs> Got it. Oh no wait, I need the acquire version, etc. It's just like let Standard library developers write that horrible, nasty. Uh, I understand thing. you're very passionate about this one. Yes, I. We have people who. We have people who get to use our horrible intrinsics, and I want people to be able to not do that. You're bringing right. beauty into the world. Yes. Then, basically. The, yes, I went to the I went to the proposals or to the proposers and said this creates problems for our implementation, but I want this feature so bad, I don't care. Like we need this thing. Like it. This should have always been there, and now we'll have it. So. Great. So before we wrap, we want to talk just a little bit about the tools working group, I think. Oh, yeah, for library. I think we got, you got the uh, standard library concepts in there. It's so oh, yes. Important. Yes. We, uh, yes, we added standard library concepts. And I Yay. neglected to mention this, uh, because this is in support of ranges stuff mm -hmm. that we hope to do next meeting. So yeah. um, we should probably do a whole talk on, or yeah, a whole episode yeah. on yeah. Yes. Some yes. Point. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So regarding tooling, yeah. So this is, uh, this is the second meeting that the tooling uh, study group 
which was created uh, a couple of months ago, yes. uh, met. And uh, the, the discussion was mostly about build systems and package management. So we got a, 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 a you know, very live uh, demo by uh, Boris Kopachev. Who, who, who is the build to system, yes. and, and he showed what was, uh, you know, possible. It was, it was well received and get excellent discussions. And then uh, uh, Robert Schumacher, who works for you, uh, you know, who? the yeah. <laughs> user, yeah. uh, the VC package guy, yeah. 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 yes, yeah. Uh, guru, you know, yeah. not guy. Yeah, yes, <laughs> uh, made a presentation. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> uh, made a presentation. It was it was it was really really nice. Um, even though the, the group is still working on its chatter, uh, and I personally expect that uh, package management will, will, will take more prominence in, in how we're thinking but about it. But it's kind of cool to just have all of the people working on package management well, in the uh, room. Yeah, this, this, is, this yes. is a real problem for the C++ community. We, you know, to, to make real adjustment, we need to tackle that problem. Not necessarily yes. having a standard definition mm -hmm. of package management, but at least having the, the, the tool vendors in and, and users in the same room and talk yes. about this problem and how to solve them is, is fantastic. Because there are packages that exist that don't necessarily make sense to freeze forever and right. stone in the standard library. So I think that was really, really good. I, I know I, I, I'm very passionate about this tooling uh, study group because it will help us solve real problems and we can't always imagine that uh, the problems we have, yes, the programming problems, but they're not necessarily programming language problem, right? We can't solve them within sure. the language, you know, it's just the tools around that we have to, to work on. Great. Yes. Okay, so let's wrap up. Uh, so the next meeting, uh, we already talked about this a little mm -hmm. bit, is in November in, yeah, San Diego, in San Diego, except for a few small, like, topic specific sessions yes. before CPPCon when everybody oh, else comes right. here anyways, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so if you want to join, where did they go to look? ISOCPP.org gives you all the information. And, and one thing that I would like the community to do is please talk to your tool vendor, talk to your compiler vendor, and, and, and have them spend, you know, invest more into coroutines and modules <laughs> <laughs> and give us feedback. These are important. Uh, functionality yes. for, for we would like a compiler that has both uh, concepts yes. and, and and coroutines. Yes, and modules. So yes. my friend at GCC, please, please, pretty please, please, can okay. you do something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>